All right, TJ, thank you. Ivan Asus is going further in depth on a story we've been tracking, the low supply of salt for local roads and its impact on residents. Eyewitness News reporter Susan Campbell joins us live with the details now from the mobile newsroom. Danielle, we're on the east side of Providence right now. If you take a look, you can see these roads are still snow covered for the most part. You can see some pavement is trying to poke out, but for the most part, lots of snow, still some ice. And right on, it's actually, they told us to expect this. This is exactly what we were expecting because of that salt supply shortage. They are conserving salt. Most of the secondary roads have been completely uh, avoided with salt because that's just not an option in this type of storm. And we went to the main salt supply area to see how much they have left. If you want to see how serious the salt shortage is, look no further than this salt facility in Providence. October 1st, the salt went from about where that silver car is parked all the way down to those blocks and it was as high as 40 feet high it looked like a big meatloaf and it was uh salt from this side all the way to that side because this salt pile has dwindled crews are digging into this 100,000 ton backup pile it's been covered and unused for two years have gone. you ever seen it this low before no a lot of the other truck drivers have said the same thing they've never seen it like this before Usually there's, always, usually there's always something here. Even just right now on this road, we are seeing some cars having a little bit of trouble with traction on these still snow covered roads. Uh, again, we're expecting more snow and it's probably not going to get any better on the secondary streets here because of that salt shortage. But we did learn that suppliers are expecting to get another shipment, hopefully by the end of the month. For now, live in Providence with the mobile newsroom, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.